What's up, YouTube Loop Troop? Loopy Fizz back again, and I've been having a ton of fun playing with these budget decks on Pokemon Pocket. I don't know, just something about them. I feel a little bit better whenever I beat a deck that's running like just EX Pokemon and I was running a budget deck. It's hard to do, but I feel like I just beat a boss in Elden Ring or something. So today I'm bringing you guys Bring Them Back. This is a card that I haven't even seen anybody really playing with until I decided to play with it. Somebody in chat told me they have been playing with it, but uh, I hadn't seen it yet. And that is... um. Not Weeping Bell, but Victory Bell. There we go. I couldn't think about the final evolution for a second. Victory Bell has a pretty cool ability. It's called Fragrance Trap. And it's kind of like a Sabrina, but it lets you lets you be in control. Uh, basically, it says if this Pokemon is in the active spot, once during your turn, you may switch in one of your opponent's benched basic Pokemon to the active spot. So it's it's kind of like Pidgey. It's kind of like, I mean, Pidgeot. It's kind of like Sabrina, but I get to choose which one comes in. Only downside to that is that I pull my headphones off my head. No, I'm just kidding. The only downside to that is that I actually um, can only bring in base Pokemon. But neat thing about that is that most Pokemon that are in um, EX form are base. You know, all the birds. I mean, I guess I guess not necessarily most, but a lot of them are. Pikachu, EX, uh, you know, all those things. They're all basic Pokemon, so you can still pull them in if you want to. That means if somebody tries to leave out because you're going to kill them, well, you can just bring them right back in, which is really nifty. Um, and I really enjoy the ability. Now, we also have Ex Executor in here. If you want to, you can make this deck have EX Executor. I chose to do this because I'm making a budget deck for people who probably don't have EX Executor. It may have something a little bit more common, like regular Executor. It is a two coin flip card. Um, you're going to be dealing 30 every single turn. But if you end up flipping into a heads, you will get 60. Nice. We got Farfetch in here. He's a great first turn Pokemon. Now, I'm not going to lie. Originally, I had Greninja in here, just one line of Greninja. But when I was playing through this, and you will see, I was never able to pull off Greninja because I was so busy doing everything else, and I never got my Greninja line. I think having something like Farfetch'd is a much better option because you can, um, instead of putting in all those lines of Greninja, I ended up putting in another Giovanni, so I can end up doing more damage some turns. Uh, and also, I just put in Farfetch'd. I think this is just a really good option. Um, and the, the play, the play line for these is, is okay, but sometimes you want a little bit more damage. So Farfetch comes into play. We got two Pokeballs, two Professor Oaks, two Erica's, two Giovanni's and one Sabrina. We got the Sabrina because obviously, like I told you earlier with victory bell, you cannot bring in Pokemon that are not basic, but you can with Sabrina or you can force them to. So Sabrina can be a very good option later in the game when you need to pull something that's involved, bring it back in so you can kill it instead of having to wait for them to, um, you know, pivot it in and kill you. Well, that's what we got. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, tell me, um, what deck do you want me to try next? I'm almost collection complete on this game. I'm missing a few things, not a lot, but we just got Starmie EX tonight, surprisingly. But I hope you guys enjoy the decks. I really do. We're trying to put out more content for this game because I know it's coming out to full release soon. And I want to have as much stuff available for you guys when that does happen. With that being said, like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. You can only get like one key every like two weeks. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, Jimmy, come listen to this guy. Okay, I'm like, where's my executor? <laughs> gotta get rid of the sale, get rid of the sale. Gotta get rid of the sale, get rid of the sale. I think this guy has a red card. Now, I would be in danger if this was a real Pokemon battle, but. I was gonna put in Ponyard and he probably has Bisharp or whatever. Pontiard does a lot of damage to begin with, man. I mean, he dealt 30 damage.
I was already trying to try to do the, the dice roll. Wow. I could have killed him. He would have died. <laughs> Meet the snaps defense. There are a thousand Pokemons excluding variants. Um, I mean, yeah, but there's also a lot of Marvel heroes that they just haven't implemented yet. They just go on a, they go on a Marvel snap is more keyed in in this game. You know, that's just kind of how it is. Come on, can I get a good stump? Yeah, we got that 60 damage. Let's go, baby. Getting those heads. All right, you gonna stay in or what you gonna do, by Sharp? I think he's gonna attack me. And I'll heal myself and get back because I got another Erica. Let's go, baby. That was a good heads. Oh, he's got another Ponyard. Probably another Bi Sharp. So he did do that. Okay. I'm going to swap out, actually. It just makes sense to swap out. Oh, he can't retreat. Never mind. He can't retreat. I just realized that. Um, if he has another by sharp, then he could kill me. If he doesn't, then he can't. But let's let's not let him. You know, just do what he, whatever he wants to do. We're gonna see. Cause he, he has two cards in his hand. There's a chance he has another buy sharp, but there's also a chance he doesn't. But if he did get both of his buy sharps and both of his pun yards, well then good God, they really didn't like me this game. They really didn't like me. And there's nothing I can do about that. Cause he got both of his evolution lines. They really don't fucking like me. That's perfectly okay. I'm cool with that, you know? I wish I had saved my Erica now, but you know, I, I mean, take, take those chances, I guess. Let me get execute. Thank you. All right. I can't use fragrance trap because son of a bitch ain't got no basic Pokemon out no more. But he's gonna deal, he's gonna deal 70 damage to us, but he has to deal it twice, but he can't. Pidgey, Pidgey, unless he has Pidgeot. He does have Pidgeot, he can make me leave. And I'll bring in Froki, I guess. Yeah, I'm bringing in Froki because I don't have the Evolve Evolution. I don't have Frogadier yet, so. He can kill that if he wants to. That's fine. But I'm gonna kill him now, unless he has something for Pidgey. Okay. I also have Erica too, so it's not like I have to worry about. So let's let's let's, let's think this through real quick. Um, I can always bring in his Pidgey with my Victory Bell. Right now. And if I do that, hmm, I can always swap something out with Sabrina, but he can, he'll choose which one comes in. But I can only bring in his Pidgey right now. I say I just go ahead and kill this and hope he doesn't have Pidgey out. That's my, oh. First off, Loopy, let's put some energy on something. You don't really need it on execu Executor, but let's do it. 
All right, we'll do vine whip. That's fine. We also have a support card. That's fine. Uh, we're going to kill Bishar. We're up two points. So now he's we, he doesn't have a basic Pokemon. He has to deal with. He has to deal with Executor in every single way. So so if he doesn't have a Pidgeotto right now, which he probably didn't, he got Professor Research. Did he get a Pidgeotto? He did not. He didn't. He must know it's over now. He has to know that it's over. I can, I can, I can beat him in two different ways. Don't clip that. Um, we're just gonna use Fragrance Trap. We're gonna make his Pidgey come to me. All right, dude. GGs. I don't care about the energy. I'm not taking. I'm just gonna get it over and done with. Get out of here, buddy. And that's it. As easy as that. Great. So it works. It's, it's a really good tactic when your opponent keeps the basic Pokemon out. If they don't, then man. But we had to throw in that Sabrina because we need a way to get their other Pokemon out when we can't do that, though. That And that, and that really sucks. It, it sucks about the move is that you can't, you can't use, it, it only works on basic Pokemon. But a lot of EX Pokemon are basic Pokemon, so. I, I, I gotta say, we got 60 people in here right now. I just gotta say, I've been enjoying the fuck out of playing this game the past, like, what, three, four weeks? It's been like three weeks. It's been a pleasure. Because, man, playing Marvel Snap sometimes, you know, it just ain't been it, you know? It just ain't been it. I'll say that much, you know? It's whatever, you know? But this is a nice breath of fresh air. Stress levels are down. Stress levels up. Been cool watching. I'm happy you've been having fun watching. Bonito, papa, da, bonito, nete, da, bonito, metro, da, bonito, da, bonito, bonito. Bonino. I think I want to save my transformation because I can get rid of uh, if, if he does decide to poison me next turn with wheezing I can get rid of it a cards I don't have and victory bell is one of them damn we just got what did we do I don't think we just got it but we do we, we have it though Why would he put that on there? You don't have to do that, buddy. I don't think he knows. Menino, I don't think he knows. He had no reason to do that, but that's cool. Heal my fucking ass. I'm clean now. Heal my fucking ass. I got Talino. I don't know what he's saying, but I like it. He's probably gonna do it again. I'm gonna evolve again. Oh, yeah, damn, he got a potion. That really sucks. It sucks a lot. I don't really like what he got. Dragon Knight don't i don't like no 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 why do you do this to me 
Uh oh. Me no lo falta. Me niño. I need to use some support cards. What do I want to do? We are only down by 20 HP right now because we just healed again. I'm going to throw out a professor's research. We're going to get some cards in our hand. We got some stuff, but I don't really want that stuff. Can I get my Froakie, please? No, I can't. Thanks for that anyways. I don't care. All right, I'm not gonna use Fragrance Trap as some of you may think. I'm actually gonna just use Vine Whip right now. Try to scare him out of this situation, right? Yeah, 60 damage. And now he's only got 30 left. Now he's got to make some decisions. He might wanna retreat, but he really can't right now unless he has Koga. If he does have Koga, I guess it's okay, but who cares, I guess. Um, if he has Koga, he can get out and pivot. And that would really suck, but, but hey, maybe he doesn't have it. Looks like he doesn't have Koga, everybody. And that's good. Cause now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get out. Cause I don't want to um I don't want Executor to have all that stuff on him. So we're gonna get out. Um we're down by four thirty points of power on Victory Bell. Sorry, I had a conniption right there. I don't know what just happened to me. We still do not have, because we have executor already, I'm gonna go ahead and throw my execute down. It's kind of silly that we don't have a single line of, well, we have the last line of him, but this will kill this. And it also gets rid of, it doesn't matter if we get tails or not, heads or not, but go ahead. This kills that, gets it out of the mix. And it's good because if he, if he got Koga, he can recycle both of those cards which is totally good, but totally bad if it happens to, with him doing it to us. I mean, it's, it's, it's good for him, bad for us. Hopefully he doesn't have another wheezing. He hadn't put one out, so maybe he does though. He has Dragonite. That could be kind of scary. Just a little bit. He can't get coughing out right now though. And he probably doesn't have a wheezing. So oh, now we finally get Froki, of course. Throw out another Executor. It'd be really nice if I could get some more points on these other things, but you know, it's cool if we don't. I'm start putting points back on Victory Bell because Victory Bell could come in handy a lot. Yeah, we know. Okay, it'll be a slow burn. That's fine. Next turn, he can actually swap this out. But then I can swap in, well, not really. I have to get one more energy on Executor and another on Victory Bell before I can swap coughing back in and then kill it. We don't knock Pokemon out here, we kill them. Talking about the rhythm is good to enjoy. Yeah. Yak, 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 yak. Oh wait, what did he, oh, I was gonna say, what did he do to this, what did he do to this? Okay. Can I discard one Pokemon and put Frogadier in please? We finally have it and we can't do anything with it, which sucks. I actually don't want to deal a lot of damage to this right now. I would much rather not, but, but I guess it's okay. I guess it's fine. We'll kill it. Now we just got to get nice stumpy wumpies and um, a nice vine whipperies. We do that. We do that and we're good to go. He's not going to put out any more base Pokemon because he knows better. He knows better, so he's not going to do it. He's he's afraid. He has fear. You, you smell that? It's fear. That's right. It's fear. He's afraid. Yeah, actually, no, he's he's complete. He's stupid. He doesn't understand. Unless he has, he can't go to Dragonair right now, but he can next turn though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring that, I'm gonna bring that damn, that, <laughs> that blue noodle in. 
Wow, you killed my bell sprout. You're a cocksucker, you know that? You are a cocksucker, you know that? <laughs> you don't have to do that, but okay. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put a point on you. We're gonna bring, we're gonna bring you, we're gonna retreat, put in victory bell. Great. Okay, so now I am going to do fragrance trap and I'm gonna bring this son of a bitch in. Now I am going to heal you with Erica because you need it. Good God, you could use it. Now I would put Froki in, but Froki only has 60 HP. Dragon Eye can kind of fuck it up, not gonna lie. I'm gonna use Vine Whip. Now, unless he has a Sabrina, and he might have a Dragon Air. If he has a Dragon Air, he can put Dratini down. But if he does that, I can still do Sabrina, but he has to have another basic Pokemon to put out instead. If he only has two, he's still at a disadvantage. So he's not, he's gonna swap out. Is he gonna put something down? He puts Dragonair down. And now he has to kill my Victory Bell or he has to kill everything. He can't, he can't win though. Cause I have Sabrina. And that's why I put Sabrina in because when they eventually do decide to do that crap that they do, it sucks. Now we don't care about him doing that cause he doesn't know we have a Sabrina. Which is great, which is great. It's fine. You killed my victory bell. It doesn't matter. You need two point. You need one point. I'm going to get my next point and you don't even know it. You're dead and you don't even know it, buddy. Now I could make a mistake right now and I could accidentally use Erica, but I'm not a dumbass. I'm a smart ass. My ass has an IQ of, I don't even know how big IQs should be, but bring your ass out here and you better survive this. Um, if you, if, come on, executor, please. Good, stumpy, wompies. Don't fail me right now. Please don't. Please don't. Good, stumpy, wompies. Fuck you. Executor, you had one fucking job. You had one job. It's over now. It's all over. Oh, man. He had one fucking job, man. Oh my God, he can just get out now. There it is. You had one fucking job, Executor. I consider that a win on my part. You fucked us. You fucked us, Executor. Fucking. Oh, fuck. You know what sucks about that even more? If I would have had my Greninja out, if I had my Greninja out, I could have won that. And I could have put my Greninja out, but I put a bell sprout out right before I got my my uh, my Froakie. They didn't give it to me until I fit that out. <laughs> uh, fuck, man, that was a good game too. Such a good game. I'm still gonna, I'm still putting it on YouTube. Fuck. Fuck. I'm going first. Well, then I gotta go with the bell sprout. You guys know something I realized? I think I know I realized. So you know how, if you've watched Parasite Maxim before, then you gotta be familiar with the uh, the parasites. Obviously, they're the main villains in the show, right? Main entities or whatever you want to call. Oh, nice pokeballs, Professor. Oak. Appreciate it. Um, but Resident Evil Four, the the, the Los Plagas, I'm pretty sure are, are like they're basically the parasites. Basically, yeah. You know, I was watching like these things look just like like they look just like that. You know, if you invade the heads and shit. They look just like it, man. I'm like, what? I'm like, what the hell is this? It's pretty crazy too when you think about it, but hey, if you're, if you're thinking about it. This dude's name is Dry Van. Driving. Dry Van. This dude is pulling his entire deck right now. Oh God, he's got star use. Oh, he's got Misty. Are you gonna put it on Froki or what are you putting it on? 
you really didn't have to use Misty at all right now. There's nothing that you get an energy and you you didn't have to do any of this. Everything you have right now can can attack with like energy with one energy. <laughs> Okay, well, we got an executor. We can, we got two executors, as a matter of fact. Put it, put him down now. Put him, put him down now. Well, here's my issue. Here's my dilemma. I can't do anything I want to do right now. I know I have a support card, and I'm not going to use it. I swear, I hope he doesn't get rid of my victory veil with a red card. The progenitor virus? The pro the pro pro progenitor. Wait, what? What? What is that? I can kill all of his basic Pokemon with what you call it if I can, but I'm not gonna be able to kill his Starmies. I can well I can kill them if oh. They do sturdy damage. Okay. The progenitor is it? Oh, that's what it's called. I thought it was just called Los Blagas. Las Plagas. Las Plagas. It's cool to say. It's a fun thing to say. Las Plagas. This is where they dug up the bugs. This is where they dug up the bugs. I'm finna kill that son of a bitch. I'm killing this thing right near, right now. Don't give a shit. You wasted your energy on it. You should have fucking. Uh, you should have evolved. Get out of here, Star, you goddamn identity crisis Pokemon. <sighs> Get out of here. What are you throwing in now? A, fra a Fragadier? Yeah, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead, pal. Who cares? Can I please have an Erica? <laughs> Can I have an Erica? We get an Erica, we'd be we'd be good right now because he's gonna go in a Greninja. Then he's gonna hit me for 60 plus 20, which is 80. That's a lot of points. I don't want to do it, but he's going to make me do it. Ouch. And even when he does that, I'm still going to kill. Like, what, am I, what, 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 what do I kill next? What am I going to kill next? I'm going to put a point on Executor. I'm going to kill. Uh, I'm going to kill Star you next because he's scarier than uh, Greninja. I'm just going to say that right now. I, I know that to be a, a true fact. We're gonna use Fragrance Trap. I'm gonna bring this son of a bitch in. I'm not even gonna try to, 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 to bet on getting a, a a 60 hit with Executor. I'm not gonna do it. I could do it, but I'm killing Star You. He doesn't need to be able to use any of those Starmies. Nope. Another Identity Crisis down the drain. He's gonna kill my Victory Bell. That's okay. It's something I'm, I'm willing to risk. I do not care. I do not want to deal with any star me, star you, star us, star they, star them. I don't care. We don't care about that. And now I might be able to kill his Froki if he doesn't get a fragged ear. Cause I'm a Sabrina the hell out of his ass. He's gonna hit something here. Oh, he has fragged ear. Oh well. Please hit my Victor Veil. Oh, he's smart. He's a smart man. He's a smart one. <coughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> All right, we got to choose what we're going to put in. I'll put this one in because it, we, it they only need one energy, dude, so it didn't really matter. You probably should have hit my um my bell sprout, to be honest. Do I care about this? What do we want to do here? I know I'm putting this on you, but. I don't think it matters if I go for the one in the back. He's going to swap into the one right here in front, no matter what. And I can't bring that one back up any other way. So what I would rather do is attack this one until I get it really low and then Sabrina it back in. So I'm going to I'm going to use my professor's research right now. Okay. Executor, you never fail me, buddy. Big stumpy wumpies. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. 
Let's go. Can we hit him with a double hit a quarter? He might have another Greninja right now too, and that's fine. He'll be dealing 40 plus six. He'll be dealing 100 damage every single turn, every, and that's a lot. But he has to get that Greninja out because we're going to be trying to kill it. He's probably going to swap in right now, but we can swap him back out with Sabrina. Come on, man, make your decision. It's all on you, baby. What you gonna do? You don't have all the time in the world. I would love to tell you that, but you don't. You have a red card, you son of a bitch. I knew it. I knew you had a red card. <sighs> oh, well, it doesn't matter because you gave us the same hand we got. <laughs> I, I say it every time, you know, red cards, you don't know if they're good. You don't know if they're bad. You don't know. He doesn't know what he just did. He doesn't know. He thinks it's a smart play. He doesn't know what he just did. He doesn't. He could play another red card right now. We get the same. He doesn't know. It's a dumbass card. That's what it is. That's why I don't run it anymore. I used to run it, but it's not even. The only way red cards are okay is if you have two of the the hand scopes. That's about it, really. But who cares? Bell Sprout. You're running. You're running out of time. You're running out of time. You're not gonna swap. Wow, he's taking a risk flip. He is taking a risk. He is not even going to attack me with Mist Slash. Wow, this guy is really, he's really underestimating me. And I don't like that. I'm gonna Erica, because I just wanna make sure, he might've been trying to pull, pull the wool over my eyes, you know, and, and make me get a little, get out of here. There we go. Yeah, he's probably saying to himself, you're doing too much. You know, dude, I got to heal. I got Erica. I got to heal on me using. You didn't get to attack me because you took too damn long figuring out the, where to put the chest pieces. And that ain't got nothing to do with me. GG's partner. I'll see you later on the ladder. That was a good one. That's a good game. We'll keep that one up there. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to check out this one right here. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great Spooktober.